Riding a horse can be a freeing experience, but for some, just getting on the horse can be a challenge. A Mountain Equestrian Center wants to change that. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. And Rex, what is it doing? The Mountain Dell Equestrian Center in Haywood County wants to make horseback riding accessible to the handicapped. It started a fun drive to buy a special ramp that makes that possible. Watch out, you guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. The kids are busy learning about horses. I love the horses. They're really sweet. At Mountain Dell Equestrian in Waynesville. It's been a similar scene here for over 20 years. Turn so you're facing the back of the horse. Turn. But owner Angela Fowler is about to do something different. Cerebral palsy, autism, um, those are the two that I've worked with so far. She's starting to give lessons to what she calls differently abled students. We want to allow them the same opportunities that all of our, our traditional students have. To help some of them get on a horse, Fowler needs a handicap accessible mounting ramp. We can roll them up this this wheel, this ramp um, and then assist them to getting on a horse who will be at their level. Once in the saddle, she says, magic happens. You might not be able to control your own legs, but you can control this thousand pound animal. It's calming for Rob. It helps him to focus. Janet Presson runs a small miracle which helps people with disabilities with a special focus on autism. Her son Rob is autistic, but riding at Mountain Dell or anywhere, she says, you'd never know it. She she knows a special needs ramp would be special. It just makes the whole experience accessible to a, a whole nother population, whether they're disabled vets or whether they're, you know, adults in wheelchairs or children in wheelchairs. Fowler started a fundraiser to buy the ramp from a company called Handy Ramp. Handy Ramp has given us a 10% discount on it. No, don't get in front of her. She's supposed to get out of your way. There you go. So far, she's raised about $200, but nearly 3000 is needed. Not much for the value she knows it would bring for the abled and differently abled alike. Something they wouldn't really have done if she didn't have that. And Fowler says the ramp would be portable so she could take it to other venues or loan it to other horse organizations. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.